Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pond, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 29. Now question 29, the use of the data booklet is relevant to this question. An excess of zinc powder is stirred into an acidified solution containing VO2 plus ions. Assuming all feasible reactions occur quickly, which equation describes the overall redox reaction that occurs. So we have four reactions between zinc and VO2+. Products actually are slightly different. The zinc will be oxidized to zinc2+. If you look at the options, my vanadium will actually be reduced to different species. So since zinc undergoes oxidation, the vanadium species should undergo reduction and they are reduced to different species to different oxidation state. So the topic tested inside this question will be under electrochem and essentially what we want to determine is what is the extent of the redox reaction since we are given zinc and we are given VO2 plus so therefore what we have to do is we have to use the e-values inside the data booklet to try to decide what is the extent of the redox reaction between zinc and VO2 plus now I know that zinc is present and zinc is in excess and of course zinc will undergo oxidation in the reverse direction, this will be oxidation. Then involving VO2 plus oxidation state for vanadium, in VO2 plus it is a plus five. So if we find this half equation inside the data booklet, the E value here, it is a plus 1.00 volt. And this can undergo reduction in the forward direction to give me VO2 plus charge. Oxidation state involving this, it is a plus four. So this is a reduction in the forward direction from plus 5 oxidation state to plus 4 oxidation state. Now we actually notice that inside the data booklet, your VO2 plus with a plus 4 oxidation state also appears inside the data booklet and it can be reduced to V3 plus and the E value given it is a plus 0.34 volt and V3 plus again appears in the data booklet. There's also the possibility that your V3 plus can be reduced to V2 plus E value given as negative 0.26 volt and finally V2 plus can be reduced further to the metal vanadium metal and E value it is a negative 1.20 volt now even if we are not aware that involving vanadium you can reduce this guy from a plus 5 to a plus 4 oxidation state the plus 4 oxidation state species also appear in the data booklet and it can be reduced further to a plus 3 oxidation state then plus 2 oxidation state to 0 oxidation state even if we are not aware of it if we look at options then we actually should also be able to pick up the same information because if you consider the species involved, your VO2 plus as the product, my V3 plus as the product, V2 plus and finally V metal as the product, I know that it is possible for me to reduce your vanadium to different oxidation state. So what we need to do is we actually need to determine the feasibility for each of these reactions by calculating the E cell. Starting from VO2 plus, where oxidation state for vanadium it is a plus 5, we have to consider the reduction of the vanadium species and oxidation for zinc and we calculate the E cell and we see the sign for your E cell. So E cell for this reaction between zinc and VO2 plus where oxidation state it is a plus 5 oxidation state it is plus 1.00 volt which is the reduction for my VO2 plus minus the oxidation for zinc to give me zinc2 plus which is a minus 0.76 volt so the calculation is here and I end up with a positive value, positive 1.76 volt, which means that the reaction is feasible. So therefore, it is possible for me to reduce your VO2 plus plus 5 oxidation state to VO2 plus plus 4 oxidation state. Now we know that we have to continue this reaction, see whether zinc can reduce your VO2 plus even further. Therefore, we calculate the E cell involving this reaction between zinc and VO2 plus with a plus 4 oxidation state. E cell calculation will be a plus 0.34 volt reduction of vanadium VO2 plus minus oxidation of zinc negative 0.76 volt and up with another positive value positive 1.10 volt so again this reaction is feasible so therefore zinc is capable of reducing vanadium from plus 4 to a plus 3 oxidation state so once we determine that then the next step is essentially the same. We want to determine whether zinc is capable of reducing V3 plus to V2 plus by calculating the E cell. So a minus 0.26 volt reduction involving V3 plus minus the oxidation of zinc, negative 0.76 volt, end up with a positive 0.50 volt. 
Another positive value, again, this reaction is feasible. I can reduce V3 plus all the way to V2 plus. Now, finally, we also have to consider the last step. Can zinc reduce V2 plus all the way to metal? So involving the reduction of V2 plus to metal, it is a minus 1.20 volt. So minus 1.20 volt minus the oxidation for zinc, negative 0.76 volt, end up with a negative 0.44 volt. This is a negative E cell. Negative E cell means that the reaction is not feasible. If it is not feasible, it means that it is not possible for zinc to reduce vanadium to V metal. We will have V2 plus as the final product because it cannot be reduced any further. So if you run through the options A, B, C, D, option C will be my answer because option C, it is the redox reaction between zinc and your vanadium with a plus 5 oxidation state and the product will be zinc 2 plus and V2 plus as the final product. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this feasibility question. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.